Namrata here and you are watching Civil Link Tutorial. In today's video, we are going to discuss about rate limiter. Ever heard about that? Yes? No? Well, don't worry about that. Because when I saw it for the first time 5 years ago, I didn't understand it at all. So today we are going to discuss it in detail. So the name is self-explanatory that you want to limit the rate of change of the signal. Now, if you Google it, you will come across something like rate of change of data packets but we are not interested in that we are more of interested in a concept of electronics terminology so i am providing the link in the description below of a wikipedia page they have this diagram which illustrates the concept clearly so you can pause this video and check out that link or maybe after this video you can check out the link it's up to you so moving on to the concept of rate limiting Imagine you have a signal which rises suddenly or drops suddenly from low value to high value or high value to low value. Now you don't want the signal to behave in this manner. Instead you want the signal to increment or decrement by certain amount of value which is small value. So this small increment or decrement is the rate you define. So this is due to the system requirements or in automotive domain this is specially due to the safety concerns. So now you know what you want to accomplish. So let's move on to the MATLAB. So if you type rate limiter in the blank space of your model you can get this rate limiter block or you can browse in Simulink library in discontinuities section so you can get this block in the discontinuities so i'll just delete this and we'll go to help section for this block and if i scroll here so in help section they have provided how to calculate the rate so this is the equation that is rate is equal to ui minus yi minus 1 divided by ti minus ti minus 1 so ui and yi minus 1 i'll come to this part later we'll just first see what is ti and ti minus 1 so ti is your current sample and ti minus 1 is your previous sample now if i take the subtraction of these two what do i get it's a sample type so now if we simplify this equation then rate is equal to ui minus yi minus 1 divided by sample time and ui is your current input whereas yi minus 1 is your previous output so imagine a case where your previous output which is yi minus 1 was 5 and your current input is 4 so 4 minus 5 is minus 1 so you are decreasing the signal by minus 1 also imagine a case where input is 6 and this yi minus 1 previous output is 5 so you are increasing the signal by 1 so in these examples you are allowing the signal to change at the rate of increase with 1 decrease with minus 1 so the rate is the value which will be added to your output so if the signal is increasing output will be added with plus rate if the signal is decreasing output signal will be added with minus rate so it will be decreasing so let's just go to model if i click on this block you can see here that rising slew rate i have given as 10 and falling slew rate as minus 20 so how did i come up with this value so i used that equation which i showed you that is rate is equal to the maximum difference with which I want to increase or decrease the signal divided by sample time. So for this model, sample time is 0 0.1 which is 100 milliseconds and I want the signal to increment maximum by 1. So if I put the value in the equation, so 1 by 0 0.1 which is 10 and I want signal to be decreased by maximum value of 
टू सो टू डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो पॉइंट वन विच गिवज मी ट्वेंटी एंड सिंस इट इज द डिक्रीजिंग रेट द माइनस साइन सो दैट इज वाय राइजिंग स्ल्यू रेट इज इक्वल टू टेन एंड फॉलोइंग स्ल्यू रेट इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी आई जस्ट क्लिक ओके एंड वन मोर पॉइंट टू नोट हियर इज दैट if your signal is increasing or decreasing with value lesser than these rates then the signal will not be incremented or decremented with the maximum rate but the actual value so we'll see in the simulation how it is behaving and instead of calculating every time this rate what you can do is create your own library block so i have created one and i'll show you how i did that so this is the library model in which i created this library block so you can just take a rate limiter block put it in a subsystem okay like this and since you are putting it in a library now you want to modify the parameter so if i select the block and control m so edit the mask and go to parameters and dialog you can see here i have added three parameters that is up rate down rate and sample time so if we recall that equation what we want is the value by which the signal should increment or decrement divided by sample time so i have up rate down rate and sample time as parameters to be displayed on dialog box of this library block so if i click on this you can see up rate down rate sample time and what i have done here is if i look under the mask i click on this rate limiter block you can see that rising slew rate is i have given as up rate divided by sample time so i have put the equation here so up rate down rate and sample time will be given in dialog box and these values will be used here in the calculation so you can see here up rate divided by sample time minus 1 into down rate divided by sample time so this is how you can create your own library block and i have used it here so instead of doing all those calculations i have put the actual values with which i want to increment or decrement the signal so up rate is 1 which we discussed here 1 and down rate as 2 i did not give here as minus 2 since we are taking care of that minus 1 directly in the library block and the sample time as point 1 so i have given directly values over here so the actual calculation will be taken care by this block now if i go to the signal builder block you can see here that i have given value as 0 and in the next sample time it is 5 so 0 to 5 transition and again to 0 and here from 1.2 to 1.8 you can see here i have slightly increased the value that is the increment value is lesser than the rate and also the decrement value is lesser than the right so if i simulate this model this both block should be giving me the same results so you can see here that this is the input signal which is going from 0 to 5 5 to 0 and that slight increment and then decrement now observe the output signal so you can see here that both the library and the actual rate limiter block from the simulink library both are giving the same output i'll just take the cursor measurement and select the signal that is from rate limiter i have selected so when your input is zero the output is zero 
now at point 2 the input signal is 5 but the output value it is 1 since the up rate is 1 so the output signal is incremented by 1 in the next sample that is at point 3 it is 2 then 3 then 4 and 5 so now it has reached to 5 and at point 8 it is 5 point 9 the input signal is now 0 but the output signal it is decremented by 2 so 5 minus 2 it is 3 then next it should be 1 and in the next sample it will not go to minus 1 but 0 since you are matching to your input signal so here the decrement is by value 1 and not 2. Now if we come here and you can see here that input and output are same. Since the increment in the signal or the decrement in the signal is lesser than the maximum rate. So it takes values as it is. So I hope you got the clear idea how rate limiter block works that is it will allow the signal to change by maximum of that rate value if the signal changes more than the rate value and it will allow the signal to pass as it is if the signal changes within the rate limit and also how you can implement your own library block for rate limiter to avoid these calculations. So I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Till then, keep watching and keep learning.